Hi VR friends, this is Tatiana from Disco VR. A little while ago I made a video tutorial explaining how to record mixed reality videos using only your iPhone and an app called Reality Mixer, created by a very talented developer, Fabio Della Antonia, whose Twitter is included in the description below. The beauty of this app is that it allows you to record mixed reality videos without using the green screen or a powerful PC, or any PC for that matter, just using your iPhone or iPad as long as it has the A12 chip in it. Unfortunately, Android phones are still not supported because this technology uses the light sensors in iPhones that help separate background and foreground better. They introduced it as person segmentation, and it's something that Android cannot do just yet. I've managed to record some pretty cool mixed reality videos using this app in the past, but what I've learned recently is that Reality Mixer can create the augmented reality effect, and that looks exceptionally cool in some games. So in this video, I will show you how to create the augmented reality effect in your videos using a really fun quest to game from App Lab called Space Slurpees. Space Slurpees is like a modernized version of the game Snake that you've probably played on your old Nokia 3310. And the rules are very simple. Eat all the goodies and don't eat yourself or other snakes. You can play either against the AI or other players, and it gets crazy. With this particular game, mixed reality videos don't work so well, so I've decided to try this augmented reality effect instead. I will explain how to do this step by step, but first, just a friendly reminder to give this video a like if you think it deserves it, and of course, subscribe to Disco VR for more fun VR tutorials, reviews, news, and gameplays. And if you're ready, let's go! To begin, let's install some free software that we will need to make this recording. First, download and install Mixed Reality Capture on your Quest. I'll put a link to this app in the description, because many people report that they were unable to find this app by just searching for it. By following the link in the description, you can install it from your computer, and it will automatically show up in your Quest. After that, take the iPhone or the iPad that you are planning to use for the Mixed Reality or Augmented Reality videos, and go to the App Store and download Download the app called Reality Mixer. And that's it! Now you have everything you need to start recording in augmented and mixed realities. To begin, make sure that your iPhone or iPad is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Quest. Also, you will need to secure your iPhone, preferably by using a tripod, because once you start the calibration, you should not move your phone, otherwise you will mess up your calibration and you will need to start over. Also, a tripod will help you set up the best angle for your camera, so it's definitely the best option. There are some very affordable tripods on Amazon that you can get even under 20 bucks. And even though they are portable, you can still put them on the table and get the best angle. I'll include a few links below. Remember that you will need to recalibrate every time you want to change the angle of your recording. Now that you have everything ready, open Reality Mixer and tap on Start Calibration. After that, put on your Quest and open Mixed Reality Capture. Type in your IP address to your phone exactly the way you see it in Mixed Reality Capture. Make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi and keep the sensors of your Quest active when you're doing this step. I just keep my Quest on my forehead so that it doesn't go to sleep. Okay, now is your last chance to change the angle of your camera before we start the actual calibration. When you're ready, hit connect. Stand in front of the camera and have the Quest on your forehead so that it doesn't go to sleep. First, step close to the camera, bring your controllers as close to the camera as you can and press the trigger button. Then take a few steps back, hold the controller in front of you and hit the trigger button again. At this point, the app will snap a picture of you and you will see this blue dot, which you will need to move where your controller should be. It will take the shape of your controller, so you need to try to align it with your controller in the picture as best you can. When you're ready, tap on Next and Save to Headset and your calibration will be saved. You can now close the Mixed Reality Capture app on your Quest, and as long as you don't move your camera, you can run any compatible game and record it in Mixed Reality. There's a constantly updating list of compatible games, so make sure that your game is there before trying it. I will leave the link to this list below. And now let me show you how to create the augmented reality effect. Tap on Start Mixed Reality button, and again, make sure that your IP address is correct. You can open Mixed Reality Capture again if you're not sure. Then hit the button that says Show Up. Options. Scroll a little bit down and you will see foreground layer options and background layer options. Under background layer options, select hidden. 
Before you connect, you need to make sure that you run a compatible app on your Quest and then scroll back up and hit connect. Here I'm playing Space Slurpees and all the Slurpees are right here in my living room, which looks super cool and it makes the video look so much more fun. This game gets busier the longer you play it, so pretty soon I wasn't even able to see my face with all the Slurpees around, but this game looks so much better when recorded with this augmented reality effect. You should definitely give it a try. I also tried to record a different game from App Lab called Puzzling Places, which I remember also looked a little bit odd in mixed reality, but in augmented reality the visualization of the pieces is so much better. Look at this giant castle I was putting together right there in my living room. There are a few other games that work really well in AR, namely Beat Saber, Open Brush and Cubism. Here are the videos recorded by Fabio, so you should go and check them out as well. Please note that if you want to record mixed reality with Beat Saber, you will need to go to settings in the game and toggle this mixed reality capture mode, otherwise it will not work. I hope that more apps will become compatible with this AR mode, but recording in mixed reality are also very fun. To record in mixed reality, simply keep the background layer visible and start recording. And here is a bonus tip if you don't know how to record your screen on your iPhone or iPad. They have a native screen recording feature, which you can use by simply dragging from the top right corner and tapping on this record symbol. Don't forget to tap it again after you've finished to stop the recording. Your recordings will be stored in the photos app. However, if you don't see the record button in the control center, then simply scroll down more controls and tap on this green plus button next to the screen recording. If you found this tutorial helpful, do not hesitate to give this video a like and consider subscribing to DiscoVR for more fun VR content. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. That's it for today. Stay safe and as always, happy gaming!